So I want to welcome everybody on behalf of Sam Houston MSTC and this wonderful opportunity with Project Safe Start, how our school is working with HISD and the local community to make our schools safer. So without further introduction, I want to turn it over to Keith Lopez. Good morning. Uh, before I begin, I want to take a moment to um, think about one year ago, today is the anniversary of Uvalde. So I want to make sure that we keep the family and that community in our prayers. You know, Uvalde was a horrible incident and we hope it never happens here in Houston. And that's something that we're working on. So that's why we're all here to make sure something like that doesn't happen in Houston. But um, let me start. Um, I'm Chief Lopez, I'm the Chief of Police for HISD. And here today, we're joined by the HISD team with Assistant Chief Rogers, Commander Barbosa, Commander Tram, Commander Garner. We also have here um, HPD Assistant Chief Bashir. We have Captain Anderson from Precinct 2. And we have our local ministers here who are all vested in making sure that our children are safe. Um, for as long as I can remember, HISD, HPD, the Constable, Harris County Sheriff's Department, we all partnered together at the beginning of the school and at the end of school to make sure that we call the Project Safe Park to make sure that whether they come into school or going away for the summer, that they start off the summer right and know that supported by all of us, including our local ministers. <coughs> this Project Safe Park is very dear and near to me because I've been with HPD for 29 years. It's something we've been doing since day one with HPD. And I think it's a good program because it shows all the support that we as a community, as a police department, as our school districts, you know, we have our safety of our students in mind, whether we're on campus or off campus. Um, it's a great program that we always support it. And I forgot to uh, address Dr. Lenaris. Thank you for having and hosting this press conference here. Thank you very much. It's one of our great principals in HISD. Now, that's all the comments I have. I'm going to pass it over to the Chief Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Yasin Bashir, and I'm Assistant Chief of the Houston Police Department. Let me first thank every single person who are present today, who is present today. Uh, this could not have been possible without our principal, our teachers, our faith group, and our discipline against crime, and our chief, and everybody else. Today, this is my first time, actually, my first time doing it, participating, but this program has been going on for many years, and I can I explain to you how good I feel start of this program today, we had opportunity to go to uh, different classrooms and meet with the kids, uh, talk with them, and, and, and listen to them. What are their issues and what, what are their concerns? A couple of key takeaways that is that our kids, they, are know, they know what's going on, and they were, able to, they were able to give us some advice on what is going on around the community and what we should begin involved in. Safety is always a concern. Why do we do this? It's because of our kids. We want them to have a successful career, a successful you know, year in, in school, but also be safe once the school does end. Um, because we know that there are some incidents where people have feuds throughout the year and they take the last day or last couple of days to bring that out. And we want to make sure that does not happen. We want to take two approaches. One is preventive, to make sure this doesn't happen, and be proactive. Um, and I would encourage the students, uh, that's the conversation we had was, if you see something that, you, that concerns you, please bring it to your parents' attention, the school's attention, even us, and we will be around to make sure that the school year ends safely. Uh, once again, I just want to thank everyone for being here. This could not have been possible without you, and I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, continuing with this relationship. Thank you. I'd like to bring forward Reverend Williams. Thank you. Good morning. I am the founder and president of Houston Minutes Against Crime that started this project Safe Start in the 1980s. We have had a successful closing and opening of schools since that time. We come this morning to ask you as parents and students and citizens and neighbors to help us to have another safe start school year. These are our children, these are our neighbors, these are our future. So let us do all we can to give them a safe start that they may be able to enjoy this summer without any problems. 
I said to the group earlier, I don't want to see their name on the te on television or on the newspaper because of some infraction. Let them excel, and we are asking that law enforcement, the uh, district attorney's office, would be sure to have no tolerance, zero tolerance for anybody that disrupt the life of our children and the teachers that work, the people that work in our school system. Let us have the same start for the teachers also, that they will have no problems this year. God bless you, God keep you, it's our prayer. Thank you, now we open to any questions. Historically, we always want to make sure that, you know, especially in the start of the school year, we have a lot of students and, and community members that are not sure of the school zones and, and those areas, so we want to make sure we have a police presence to control traffic. And then sometimes, you know, we have incidents around the campuses that spill over onto our campuses that are not related to the school district, but still, things happen outside of campuses, and unfortunately, those things are carried over into our campuses. Like Dr. Wilkins said earlier, sometimes, all of them, Chief Ashir, I'm sorry, that there are fumes that happen on throughout the year, minor stuff, we want to make sure that doesn't carry over to the school campuses. So that's why we plus up our law enforcement presence along with our ministers to make sure we mitigate those incidents as much as possible. So what's it? I look you more. Okay. You get a one-on-one. -on -one. Another group with us, Parker's with us. Where's Parker? Patrick. Yeah. This group also organized, but they help us also have a safe school start. Yeah. Thank you. That's all the questions. Thank you for being here this morning, and um, you feel free to take any pictures while we disperse. Thank you. <laughs>